Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to give you a bit of an insight into how Charles University works, well, specifically first faculty of medicine in Prague. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. So first up, you got to know this university focuses quite a lot on orals. So you really got to be good with like your verbal skills, especially like how you present and answer, um, how you dress up for the exam as well. Um, all of these points definitely come into play when you're going to give an exam for your finals. And the oral part is mainly going to be um, more of a hassle in like the higher years. Of course, in first year as well, you have quite a few oral exams, but most of them are going to be written, especially um, for the first couple of months. So, well, let's just get into how exactly it works. So first up, for your winter semester, your main subject is going to be biophysics, which you're going to have a final for. And you're going to have weekly class tests for anatomy and histology. Um, so these two subjects, anatomy and histology, um, their final exams would be in the summer semester. So you got to really work hardcore during that time because it's very easy to fail these two subjects. So you really got to make sure you know it thoroughly, like each and every bit, because it can be quite strict, the examinations, and you got to make sure like you pass on your first attempt. Like, I feel like one big rule that you got to follow in this university is that you don't think of the three attempts that you have for each examination, but rather you have just one attempt, just one. And like, if you think of that for all exams, you'll definitely get through in the first attempt. So um, starting with uh, anatomy. So anatomy, um, for me personally, it was quite hard to get used to the subject because they have these tests called slide tests, um, which happens like every week in the winter semester. So what are these slide tests? Well, they're nothing but PowerPoint presentations wherein they show um, 30 pictures in quick succession, um, usually within like a 30 second time gap. So in that time, you have to answer like what body part it is or like what organ, bone, etc, etc. So um, I feel like personally it was tough for me coming from like a CBSE background wherein I was more used to like rote memorization and just like, you know, uh, basically just being uh, a copy paste machine yeah so this was quite different and I feel like it takes some time to get used to um, and I would definitely recommend you to look at some atlases in our university we mainly use Sabota um, of course apart from that there are some checkbooks that we use as well um, and I think Netters. Netters is also like another book that people prefer to use as an atlas, but mainly it's going to be Sabota, and that's going to be your go-to book for um, most of the slide tests. Then uh, these slide tests eventually lead to like sometimes oral examinations as well. So um, it's always good to make sure like you know the theory of whatever you're studying. But most of the times it's the slide test that you got to focus on with the pictures and try to pass them um, with. Well, without much hassle, I would say. So towards the midpoint in winter semester, you're going to have a dissection exam. So during the dissection exam, what's going to happen is you're going to get a cadaver, um, one male and one female, and you're going to have to, well, basically uh, cut them up, um, look at the different structures you got to look at, and be able to like give your examination at the end of the week because this dissection lasts for like one week during which you're going to miss some classes you might have to go for some classes despite having to study for this huge exam um honestly it's going to be one of the best parts about university heck it was the highlight of my first year not gonna lie so definitely enjoy yourself with it but make sure you um keep up with your studies as well don't neglect it dissections especially because if you're thorough with your winter dissections it's going to be much easier for you in the summer as well so I would definitely recommend you to sit and study at Hardcore for that one week at least. And towards the end of winter semester, uh, you're going to have biophysics, but you're going to also have like a major uh, anatomy slide test on the GIT, which was like the hardest slide test that I had for the winter. So uh, definitely don't neglect your other subjects when you're studying for your biophysics. Definitely study your histology and anatomy as well, because otherwise you're going to be struggling in the winter semester. So moving on after your break, which could be anywhere between like one month to one week, depending on when you wish to give your exams. Um, in this university, you usually get to like choose which date you get to give your exam. So that's like a huge advantage, I feel. Like if you're not ready for an exam, um, you can de-register from it like a few days before the exam, as well as like 
you can you can just basically give it whenever you want just make sure you like give it within that examination time period like usually in the winter um it's usually from like may or towards the end of jan to like most of february so you have quite a lot of time to prepare for the exams i feel um but in the summer it can get quite difficult because you have two subjects and these two are a lot more hectic than biophysics i feel like especially for me like biophysics was quite fine because um i was quite used to it from like studying uh, in in the ncert curriculum like a lot of the stuff was quite similar so for me personally like physics wasn't such a huge issue so it was quite nice but for those of you who are not used to physics um you might want to really sit and study biophysics quite well because it's an examination that you can score pretty well at as well as um you just need to go for the lectures as well as um go through like some of the notes and like it should perfectly be fine for you So moving on to summer semester uh here again I'll be talking more on anatomy my next video will probably focus on histology so for anatomy what do you got to do well this time the slides are only going to be like once every two weeks so you get more of a leave so during this time look at the final questions there's going to be a list of final questions that should be uploaded on the anatomy website look at that look at the question list um look at some videos that will help you work your way through the questions because i feel like sitting in um reading books to help you like get through the examination um it might be good for it might work for like quite a lot of you no prop but then for me personally i felt like videos were quite useful because i'm more of like a visual learner i felt especially when i came to like med school so um i would definitely recommend you to like look for as me as many videos as you can for like whatever topic that you have as opposed to like sitting and just grinding through a book so yeah and again in the summer semester your cadavers come back at like the midway point and this time you got to focus well in the winter it was more of like muscles um some plexi nerve plexi and like blood vessels but in the winter in the summer it's going to focus more on internal organs so it gets i feel like a bit tougher so you got to make sure like you are really thorough with your organ systems and in this time um you got to also decide like what a uh, final exam that you want to do because dissection is usually the point where people decide to like focus more on like anatomy or histology like which subject that they would like to give towards the end because your final exams usually start from end of may or like beginning of june so yeah this is the time for you to get serious because if dissection goes for you well like usually most people uh, prefer to give anatomy first that way because dissection um covers quite a lot of what's going to be there in your finals and you just got to go over the final questions and like you should be fine so when your finals come in um it's going to be divided into three parts so first you're going to have the slide test which your you should be quite accustomed to by now throughout the year and once you get through that you go to the second part which is going to be on dissection so the dissection is going to cover stuff from both winter as well as the summer and like maybe some stuff that wasn't covered in either of them so make sure you read up on it pretty well and like you can visit the dissection room like whenever you want in the summer before your finals to make sure like you're pretty good with like all uh, the you know stuff that you got to know for anatomy so yeah definitely give it a visit like maybe once or twice before your exam up to you but i would definitely uh request you to do it because you know it's always good to like learn something by seeing what the actual organ is or bone is rather than just you know simply like sifting through a book the whole day and it's definitely going to be a more of a refreshing like change of pace for you as well so yeah i would definitely recommend going to the dissection room uh, like once or twice before your exam and that covers the second part now your third part your third part is going to consist of your orals um this is the determining factor of whether you're done with the anatomy uh, exam or not because the orals um it might be tough for some of you because you're not as used to it throughout the years the slide test so make sure you're really thorough with like your final questions and just make sure like you can be done with it then and there and like don't waste an attempt thinking like oh okay you can perhaps like get through the first part and like if you fail the second part or something it's okay you can come back don't think of it that way think of it as one huge exam um like you're going to have first the slide test then you're going to have the dissection part and then you're going to have the oral part all three of them you're going to finish it off in one go because some of uh my friends like i know uh what they did was like they thought okay first i'll get through the slide test and then like dissection is easy for them so like that's okay and the orals they'll maybe come back to it later but 
um, I would rather say just finish it all off in one go. Make sure you're really thorough for the exam if you give an attempt because even if like you have to give it towards the middle of June or something like that and you have to push like your nostalgia date to like end of July or something, it's fine. It's okay. You just got to make sure that you pass in your first attempt. And like, if especially like if you're concerned with your grades, um, so your grading system works like this. You get one or an A for excellent, B or a two for very good, and C or a three for like good, and a D or a four for fail. So you got to make sure like you get an A, B or a C or a one, two or a three to make it through that subject. So yeah, that's going to be um, the end of this video. Anyways, if it would really help me out if you guys like, share, and commented below on the video telling me uh, what you would like to hear about this university um, as well as some of the thoughts you have or like if you have some doubts or questions. Anyways, let me know down below and that's all for today. See you next time.